All right, you're watching the market, please. Let's turn to some story to do with a green Ghana day, which was marked last Friday. Now, a green environment is considered one of the surest ways of mitigating the severe impact of global warming. The Ghana Post and Harvest Authority, as a corporate uh, citizen, has indicated its commitment uh, to contributing its quota to green and sustainable environment, which supports life. Uh, the Ghana Post and Harvest Authority held a Health and Safety Environment Day and our correspondent from there, Kwame Yanka, sent us this report. Dealing with global warming has gone beyond just government as organizations have taken keen interest. Ghana Post and Harbour Authority's approach flows seamlessly into the greening agenda of the country with the pledge to plant 1,000 seedlings. Although rain had a better part of the program, it however did not deter GPH staff, invited guests and other stakeholders from planting the symbolic seedlings. Director General of Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, Michael Logoji, says tree planting has become even more relevant to help tackle the ever-threatening phenomenon of global warming. We need trees for shade. We need trees to help us ensure that we contain global warming and its negative effects. That greening project, therefore, needs commendation as an initiative by Ghana's government. And we are proud as Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority to be associated with it. Today is marking a major milestone in Tama where 1,000 trees have to be planted as part of this project within the main harbour area. A similar project is being planned for Takwadi and Port as well. And we are all looking forward to a successful one. We are grateful to our partners, the non governmental organization, which is called the uh, Coastal Conservancy Organization, who are partners with us to. Meanwhile, Deputy Transport Minister Frederick Obinadum was happy the project was in sync with government's Green Ghana project. According to him, for 2022, government targets planting of 20 million trees and asked that deliberate efforts must be made to ensure that 90 million of the trees survive. Last year, the government rallied the generality of the Ghanaian people for the 2021 Green Ghana project, we saw the planting of 7 million trees across the country, which was even targeted at 5 million. Uh, it's interesting to note here today that out of the 7 million trees that were planted, 6.3 million have survived. This year, the target is 20 million trees. And as we plant the trees, we must all focus our agenda also on making sure that the trees we plant grows and grow very well so that next time if we meet here, we shall also be able to say that out of the 20 million trees we planted, we are at least able to see 19 million. I think that would be a very good thing to see. Stakeholders, including importers and exporters, security agencies, among other players in the port community, were present to support the initiative. They braved the rains to plant trees. That's the marketplace. Thanks for watching, everyone. More news on our website, myjoyonline.com forward slash business. My name is Daryl Kwao. Thanks for watching.